Paul here at Barnt Green, second 11 championship fixture. So you've been six weeks into the role. Can you just tell us what you've been up to and how you've settled into the club? Yeah, well, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been, uh, it's been an enjoyable um, few weeks. Um, and obviously, yeah, a lot of it's been trying to get to know people, get to know players, the coaching staff, uh, and all areas I'm, uh, I'm working in, really. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's everything that I expected it to be. Um, some long days, a bit different to coaching. So, uh, no uh, half days and, and heading home. There's some proper long days. But that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a, wanted a challenge, wanted something different, something out of my comfort zone. Uh, and I've certainly got that. So, uh, yeah, no, it's been fantastic so far. And with your start time, you were thrusted into a, a season. We just finished the Royal London One Day Cup. We didn't qualify. What's your thoughts on that campaign? I know it's quite fresh in the mind. What's your thoughts on that? It's been massively disappointing. Um, you know, that you, you can talk about injuries. You can talk about a bit of inexperience in the squad. Um, but, you know, the, the, the only good thing that we've probably found out about a few players, we found out... Um, probably sooner in some cases. We've learnt a lot about players, um, but it hasn't been good enough. You know, we're, um, we, we have a, a level of expectation at this club, and I'm, you know, although I'm new into it, one of the things that attracted me here was it's a club that's about winning, it's a club that's about being competitive on and off the field and setting standards. And, you know, quite honestly, we, we haven't been good enough. Um, and as I say, you can hide behind um, injuries, you know, obviously to have, not have Ian Bell for the whole of the campaign, um, to lose Adam Hodes the day before the first game. You know, we, we've not had Ollie Stone, but we, we've still got players who should be good enough to win more games than we've won in this tournament. Um, you know, there was a very honest assessment uh, within the changing room last night at Leicester, but there's been a very honest assessment over the last few weeks of the tournament. Um, you know, th there's been some good things. There has definitely been some good things. Alex Thompson, I think, has, has done outstandingly well over the course of the tournament. Obviously, Rob Yates played yesterday and showed that he's going to be a very fine player. You know, for a young man to make his debut and play as well as he did yesterday, you know, it was very exciting. But it didn't surprise any of us that have seen him play the last few weeks. And certainly people that have known him for a lot longer than I have. I mean, he's a very calm, mature young man. Um, so there have been some good things. Um, Sam Hain, the longer the tournament's gone, has played really well. You know, I think he's, he's made good choices under pressure and shown that he's a quality player. Um, but on the whole, it's not been good enough. You know, and you know, the coaching staff know that, the players know that. The players now have an opportunity to do something about it. That's the great thing about being a player in English cricket. You know, games come thick and fast um, and, and they've got a choice to make now. They've, they've got to decide how they want to be seen as a player. They've got to, be, they've got to decide, are they playing the game tough enough? Are they tough enough? Are they tough enough on themselves? Do they set themselves high enough standards? Um, you know, and, and as I say, we, we could sugarcoat it, we could hide behind um, injuries, we could make up all sorts of things, team in transition, all those things. But at the end of the day, it just simply wasn't good enough. For a club the size of Warwickshire, with a level of expectation, it simply wasn't good enough. And perhaps there's a little bit of pressure on now to kind of regroup ahead of the county championship because the white ball season's over now until the, the blast in July. So there's going to be a lot of games now where they obviously can try and put that right with Red Bull. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, there is a good run of Red Bull cricket. Um, you know, and our first game against Kent, um, you know, we, we lost that first game um, and didn't bat well enough in your first innings. If you don't bat well enough in your first innings, you make it hard for yourself. Um, and, and that quite simply, you know, Kent got a big score in their first innings. We weren't able to get anywhere near that. Um, but for some, you know, partnerships down the innings, um, which is fine. I mean, all 11 are allowed to contribute. There's no problem with where you get your runs from. But you, you do need your top six in county championship cricket to bat and get big scores and put big scores on the total, certainly first innings. And, and very often, if you don't score your runs first innings, you find yourself chasing the game. And, you know, I, I think that, that first game, you know, probably from tea time on was on the first day of that game against Kent and Edgebaston, we were chasing the game and we were never really, you know, we were never ahead of the game. We were chasing the game. We dropped catches um, and, and, you know, simply we, we didn't bat well enough. So, you know, th there's a lot of work to be done. There is a lot of work to be done. But the, the one thing that I would say is that despite the results that we've started with this year, you know, we're not accepting of what's happened. We, none of us are saying it's OK. None of us are saying we're a team in transition. None of us are saying you've got a lot of injuries. What we're saying is the team that we're putting out still has to be good enough to compete with other counties that we're going to play against. And yeah, the county championship is going to be a tough year. That's, but that's where you want to be. You want to be in the first division. You want to be playing tough cricket. And that's what, you know, the guys that are in the, the first team squad should all want to be testing themselves every time they play um, and making sure that they are playing hard, tough, 
competitive cricket because that's what Division One's about. That's what being a professional cricketer is about, and that's what life at um, Edgebaston and playing for Warwickshire demands. And, and the supporters and the members demand that the club is competing and, and not hiding behind excuses. And, and I can assure you, none of us are making excuses. None of us are, as I say, sugarcoating it. We're being very honest. We're being very direct. Um, and we know that we've got you know, some tough games in front of us. But that's where you want to be. That's what you want to challenge yourself for. Um, and, and the best players will inevitably come through that. Yeah, and obviously if the players don't come through that, obviously with the injuries as well, there's perhaps a chat opportunity perhaps for other people outside the club to come into the fold and prove their worth for it. Well, at the moment, we, we've got a group of players that we want them to show that they are players that are at the right club and are going to score runs and take wickets and field um, better than they have done over the last few weeks. So, you know, there, there is a, there's a need for these players to really stand up and be counted and, and be honest with themselves about where they're at as players. The coaching staff have worked incredibly hard over the winter and are working incredibly hard at the moment. Um, we know that we've got some very good players. We know that we've got a high level of skill. But with that, we, you need to match that with the determination and a bit of desire on the field as well. You know, the best players don't succeed because they've just got a high level of skill. They succeed because they've got the mental capacity to deal with everything that cricket throws at them. Um, and they've got the desire to be the best they can be, not once a week, twice a week, but every single day of the week. And, and that's what stands them out from being, you know, OK players to being very, very good players. And we want a group of very, very good players at Edgebaston and competing for Warwick every time we play. So we're always looking to improve our staff. Um, and we will certainly be looking to improve our staff for next season. But we've got to deal with this season now. You know, we are still only into the first weeks of May. And so it's not, it's not a case of looking too far ahead of ourselves. You know, we, 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 we know that we've learned an awful lot, as I said, about our players in this Royal London series of games. You know, we've given opportunity to players who perhaps haven't had opportunity before in white ball cricket. We've given opportunities for a longer run rather than people just having the odd game. And so we, we've learnt a lot about the players as a coaching staff and as a management group. But hopefully the players have learned about themselves as well. And, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for absolute honesty from your players. You're looking for players to be really clear on where they're going with their game. And then it, for the role for the rest of us is to make sure we're supporting them and helping them and giving them the best chance to achieve what they want to achieve in the game. Does it help though that they're a little bit younger perhaps? The average age squad is a lot younger. So that development and this learning will hopefully stand them in good stead. Well, you have no choice really. It doesn't matter how old you are, you have no choice. Your learning is crucial. You know, the best players are the best and quickest learners. So the players that come through and play for long periods of time, they're the people that are fast learners, they understand their game quicker, and they've got the mental capacity to deal with everything that cricket throws at them. So, you know, when you look through your group, you look at someone like a Tim Ambrose, who has started the season really, really well. It's no surprise. He's a fast learner, he's a hard worker, he understands his game, and he's used his experience every single day that he plays. So it's no wonder that he's been as consistent as he has been. And you're looking for others to take a lead from that. You know, Ian Bell, Chris Wokes, why have they played so many games for England? Because they understand their game quicker than most, they're fast learners, but mentally they're tough. You know, Bell and Wokes might come across as really, really nice blokes, and they are, but mentally they're driven, mentally they're tough, and they've got that little bit of edge to them when it comes to playing the game. Off the field, they're great fellas, they work hard, they fit into the dressing room fantastically well, but when it comes to on the field, they've got a little bit more about them, and that's why they're able to sustain the, the high level of intensity that they've managed to sustain over a long period of their career. Out on the field, Hampshire next Tuesday. We've got our first team regulars getting game time here. The pressure is on them, but what's just to go out there, enjoy the cricket, and make a performance, almost take away the white ball campaign. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, that, that campaign's gone now. We've learned from that and we'll have learned some really good lessons to take into the T20 tournament later on in the summer. And we'll definitely learn some good things going forward for that. Um, and that's a tournament that we should be doing very well in. You know, so no, no um, you know, I'm, I'm not talking up and adding pressure to the lads. They know that that's a tournament they should, they should be doing very well in. And we know that we've got some high level of skill within our squad that are capable of giving us a good chance of being very competitive in that and trying to get as far in that time as we possibly can. But when it comes to the championship, you know, it, it is going to be tough. It's going to be hard. And that's what, but that's what the county championship is. That's, that's why the club wants to be in the first division. You know, you can't win the county championship if you're in the second division. So you want to be in the first division. You want to be playing against the best players week in, week out. And what tends to happen is the best players 
playing against the best players, you raise your game in that situation. And it will be a great opportunity. There is a fantastic opportunity now for players that perhaps haven't played much cricket in the past, in the first team, in Division 1, to show that they are high-quality players. They deserve to be at a club like Warwickshire. And they have the same aspirations um, that we all have, which is to be a, a competitive club that expects, and the members expect, and the supporters expect, for us to be challenging and winning trophies. And so what's gone on in the first five or six weeks of the season, nothing changes. We've got a very clear plan ahead of how we're looking to go. Yes, we want to develop our own young players. Yes, we've got you know, the budget, if we need it, to, to add to our squad um, for next season. But there is a fantastic opportunity for players now at this club to be part of a brilliant journey. And you know, we're, we're very clear on where we're going. You know, as I say, we, we have stuck to what we believed in, in terms of playing the younger players during this RL50 tournament. Um, and whilst that's been costly in terms of results, we know that players are going to emerge out of that. And the best players will emerge, but they've now got to shift their focus to Red Bull cricket. They've got to shift their focus to playing good championship cricket. And they know that in Division 1, every game is a tough game. Every game is a seriously tough game, but that's why you play the game. That's what you're involved for at a club like Warwickshire. You know, and as I say, nothing changes. We're very clear on our own mind that there's no panic. Um, but we know that we've got to play really good, tough cricket. And if we do that, we give ourselves a great chance.